Ah, greetings, expats. Welcome to the underground, you rebel scum. This is the American expat. So I'm sitting here after uh, starting this day. You know, I've, I've been thinking a little bit about my health lately. And uh, sorry, I'm doing this handheld. Maybe I ought to. There we go. Now, no more shaky camera situation. The light may be better or worse, I don't know. I think, I feel like it's probably reflecting in my eyes. It's kind of blinding, actually. But anyway, I, that's, not, uh, that's not what we wanted to talk about today. So I've been uh, thinking about my health, you know. Feel a little bit tired sometimes. Not as in focus as I'd like to be. Coffee isn't really the solution. Sometimes it's a good stopgap. But you know, I've been thinking about how can I improve my health situation. So I keep hearing about this intermittent fast business. Well, today I decided to try that. Uh, somebody had said, it was probably on the Joe Rogan podcast, that, uh, you know, you kind of like don't eat for the first part of the day and then you only eat in uh, certain hours. And I'm thinking, well, you know, that's, that's, a, that's a doable thing. So I did a bunch of stuff in the morning when uh, I wasn't eating. And let me tell you, <laughs> it wasn't a very fun experience. Maybe you get used to it after a while. I don't know. Or do you just feel... I mean, I'm glad that uh, this was during the time that my son is at school, because I can just imagine, you know, if he was here uh, bombarding me with questions and whatnot, uh, it probably wouldn't have been as fun of an experience. It wasn't a fun experience. But, um, you know, it's not that bad. I mean, skipping breakfast, no big deal. Wait until lunchtime to eat. Um, then I can eat whatever I want, right? So I had a pretty good, uh, cooked up some some good lunch and uh, all of that. Now, I think you can have coffee, but that, you know, that creates a bit more of a dilemma. Like what kind of coffee should you, you know, is a good one. That's a, that's a story for another video, finding the, uh, the best cup of coffee, because you'd be surprised what, uh, I guess we're going there. I guess uh, we're going in the coffee direction for a moment. You'd be surprised what the best tasting coffee is, ultimately. I mean, you know, I've experimented with different brands and things seeing uh, which one tastes the best. And sometimes it's not the expensive one. I mean, it's not the really, really cheap ones either, but uh, you know, like Dunkin' Donuts coffee, that uh, that tasted better, smells better. I think it, I, at first I thought it's a, like a medium roast sort of thing, but apparently not. It's just that, you know, theirs tastes better because I got another medium roast and it, it wasn't, it wasn't good. Just like, you know, people oh, get the dark roast for your espresso. But, uh, well, sometimes that tastes terrible. And some of them really do taste terrible. Never buy, well, I'm, yeah, yeah, anyway. I'm, I'm doing this whole uh, fasting thing, and I'm going to see where that goes. Is that the best way to get energy? Or do you guys know of other ways? I mean, there must be better ways or other, no, there, maybe not. I mean, if Joe Rogan says, you know, you should be fasting intermittently then uh, that's got to be the way to go right he's the guy that has the you know he looks pretty like well fit and stuff he must know what he's talking about i guess i'll find out but what other things can i do somebody said that dairy stuff messes you up i uh it's got me thinking you know should i be like not eating cheese or drinking milk I, I don't I don't know I heard about that when I was a kid from somebody and I didn't believe it. it definitely uh, I don't know <laughs> what's what's the way to go here juicing you know you get the people that do like the the juice diet I'm not really into the vegan thing um and besides everybody says you should just eat meat but uh, you know I'm I'm open to all kinds of stuff so I've uh, seen some vegan uh, people on the internet and seeing what they have to say. Of course, it doesn't help that the person that I saw that was doing the vegan thing, uh, the next video that I saw was them saying like, after 10 years of being a vegan, I, uh, I ate meat and you know what, I'm never going back to, to the vegan thing, I, I guess. So uh, probably not the vegan way, but maybe, you know what, I, I, like I said, I'm open up. If you are a vegan and you feel like this is the way to great health, that probably messed up the audio. This is the way 
I'm, you know, I, I'll, I'll try anything. Why not? Eat a bunch of plant stuff. Even though I know from experience that that makes me feel miserable. I, I feel like I'm genetically designed not to be uh, a herbivore. In China, you know, often we would eat food that was mostly vegetables. And I can tell you, I, I always felt miserable doing that. So probably not, uh, not the best way. What is a good one? I mean, I, obviously, I mean, I, let's go back to the genesis of this whole situation and uh, what's, what's got me thinking of this health business. Because it's more complicated than just, I feel tired, I feel like I need to focus better. There's, there's more to it. Oh, well. Yes, we've moved locations, sorry. I came up here to admire my, my old camera that we had out the other day with its uh, kit lens on it. I mean, I've got other lenses for it, like this one and uh, yeah, this one, which fortunately work on my, my uh, full frame camera too, just it crops it or whatever. But uh, yeah, the advantage of being in this part of the house is, you know, now you can actually hear me. This isn't like the greatest microphone in the world, but it's certainly better than what's sitting on the top of the camera. So where was I? Yes, uh, the complicatedness, uh, complications of weight, uh, gain and loss, and the genesis. That's right, the genesis of where all of this came from. So I was, uh, I, I recently uploaded a video that I recorded when I was in France right after being in the United States for a long time. And I... Uh, I look terrible. I mean, somehow being in the United States is really, really bad for my health. And I think I figured it out, you know, before I thought like, well, it's gotta be the, you know, the food and yeah, well, the food probably plays a part in it. But uh, more than anything, I think it has something to do with activity levels. Because when I go back to when I was in China and I look at those videos, you know, I, I was eating tons of food all the time and I, I was lose, I lose weight there. In America, I gain weight. In China, I lose weight. And now you're gonna probably thinking like, it's because of bad, dangerous food making you sick. No, no, I only got sick one time uh, a long time ago. And it was for a week that I didn't eat. I think it was actually more than a week. I didn't eat anything. And I did lose weight from that, but that was like 10, 15 years ago. Uh, the, the trend of losing weight happens anyway. And it's not because of the food difference. And I think it, well, maybe some, but it has more to do with the activity levels. In China and in France to a lesser degree, I, I, you know, I walk everywhere. So I'm doing all this activity, but there's a problem with that in the United States. When I'm here, there's just, you know, you, you can't really do that. It's not like I'm going to walk to the supermarket. It's too far away. It's frustrating enough to drive to it in the car let alone to think I'm going to walk there or get on a bike, especially here. Man, so many vertical everything. It just, uh, it wouldn't it wouldn't work out. So the activity level is just not there. So I have to look for other ways to cut back. You know, if I'm not uh, going to burn as much energy that I take in, then I guess the best solution seems to me to take in less. And somehow the fasting thing is supposed to help with that, as well as have some other health benefits that I'm not entirely sure of. I'm going to have to, I better look into that since I'm getting into this. But uh, those of you who know about these, these health things, you can, you can fill me in, you know, leave a comment. Tell me, uh, tell me that, you know, if this is going to kill me or something, I, I don't think that it is because as a kid, I grew up in, you know, we, we had a regular fast every, uh, for religious purposes, every month. And that was, that was hell as a kid. But, uh, you know, now I'm choosing to do this to myself every day on purpose and not for religious purposes. And I don't feel like I could ever treat it like a religion or religious sort of thing. Well, that's kind of a strange tangent to go on with the, uh, the whole fasting thing. But people that are religious do fast. But that's not my, my purpose here. I'm trying to become healthier in the United States, within the, uh, the confines of, of life here in the United States. Maybe my solution should be to go back to China. But, you know, everybody's got you so terrified that World War III or something is going to blow up. 
I probably just triggered that. Oh, that's going to kill me in the algorithm now. I mentioned something that's off limits. That off limits is off limits. I'm ruining myself. Help me. <laughs> Leave comments about something else. Don't talk about World War III and all of that stuff. Just uh, just the diet, the fasting. Wait. Could No, I, I better stop right there. I don't want to get into the medical misinformation. No, I said it. I've killed it. This this video is never going to go anywhere. Anyway, that's where this the genesis of this came from, is that I could see these videos of myself in China before when I was, you know, way healthier and uh, feeling better, looking better. And then I saw that video of myself with my son right after leaving the United States, which is actually recently uploaded but actually not recorded recently so some people are probably confused like you're back in france when uh, when did you go back to france my gosh you really travel a lot i do travel a lot i do uh quite often but uh, no i'm i'm not in france at the moment i am in america where we just sit all the time we sit at work we sit in the car on the way to work we sit at home when we come home from work to eat and watch television and uh, I'm sitting right now in, uh, in here doing work. Actually, I'm not working at the moment. Don't tell anybody. I'm, I'm making videos to post online instead of doing my work. Now, I, I work for myself, so it doesn't matter. But uh, just, just mind, mind who you tell that to. Anyway, I, uh, yeah, we'll see where this goes and if I actually feel better. Now, I'm, I'm preparing myself because I might feel terrible at first it seems that everybody that gets into these uh, these health things the initial reaction from your body is to fight against whatever it is you're doing and it feels terrible so i'll prepare myself for that but hey you know if i feel great immediately then instant gratification that that's a great thing but probably not Anyway, again, you know, tell me what you think. Tell me what you know. Share your your knowledge of healthy livingness. And uh, subscribe to my channel because you never know what's going to come out of this thing. You just never know. Plus, I need your help because, you know, the algorithm's going to kill me because of the stuff I said in this video. So do me a favor. I'll talk to you later. ไปพวงหลงเฝ้าเฝ้าเจ้าบางประกงหางไว้งงหลงเกอ